Hello, lovelies. How are you as we begin this journey of 52 days with Red Serpent? And it's extremely intense energy continuing. So it's tricky at times around how to manage our energy and make sure we get enough rest, especially at this time of year. Very little light, lots of rain here at moments and high winds. So it's nice to be indoors, making soup and really connecting to home at this time as well. I think it's really important. So today is Tuesday, the 14th of December, 2021. And we are about to go into the center of the Zolkin. Today we've got the sun in Sagittarius and we've got the moon waxing in Taurus up to this full moon in Gemini at 27 degrees, depending where you are on the planet, Friday and Saturday. So I'm just gonna read you the degree. Taurus at seven degrees. So I can really feel this energy because my moon is at Taurus at eight degrees. So that will be coming in soon this afternoon and feels good in this earthy energy. A large ruby inscribed with a prayer, a beautiful dream that comes true, conceiving in your heart that a fresh life current is here to be met in the physical. Being magnetized to the spot where the new earth arises, you feel deeply drawn to give yourself over completely to what the new life wave asks. Sensing acutely that this is all that counts and suffering for all of those who are shut off from the bounty knowing how hard it is to feel dejected and forsaken and never forgetting the ache, the longing, the distances and what it takes to earnestly clasp new life and realize you belong to the heavenly kingdom in the earth and will never again be out in the cold. So that's a really powerful message, isn't it? The cards today, White dog, which is very significant, and I'll come back to that in a moment. So white dog is the 10th Mayan sign, Ok, as it's called, and is connected to Sirius. Also, its focus is about family, ancestral patterns, and it's in the 10th house, the heart's desire, number 10, which traditionally is Capricorn. So that's coming up quite a bit today as well. Capricorn coming in around the 21st of December with the winter solstice, of course. And the fourth card today is also connected to Capricorn energy, Mars and Capricorn, which won't come until the new year, till January. So let's just check out this, because this is a really magical card as well. Let's see. So first of all, the astrological degree of the moon, aqua or fire.net. That's the website that I use. And Mars goes into Capricorn from January the 24th till March the 6th. So this is going to be symbolic then of what we have been working with in the sun and Venus going retrograde, of course, in Capricorn as well. 
to how we put that into action. Find the link. So I'm just going really slow today. Okay, here we go. So we've got Mercury and Capricorn at the moment. So again, it's time to get stuff done, whatever you're doing. And this also really links in with this works card as well. So again, this is an amazing website. And now hopefully, look. We've got it there. Okay, so endurance, strong physical determination and tenacity. And my goodness, we need that at the moment, don't we? Uh, with everything that's happening as we go into the darkest point of the year. Key things to do now, try and keep yourself positive and keeping our integrity as well, Just taking those little steps. So again, it goes into depth with this. Blue light surrounding the pyramid states the capacity of clarity, clarity about what you will or will not give your energy, mind and body to. In other words, the works. And so Mars in Capricorn and so again, being the disciple, being disciplined at this time of year, doing the healing, understanding the Akashic record, because we have got 10 portals opening up tomorrow. And let's just see, we'll cut to the chase. So again, you can check this out for yourselves if you want to learn so much more because there, there is so much there. Business, paid employment, commercial transactions, working and constructive force, rank, influence, also about the ability to do work on the occult and material levels, which is key at this time of year as well, building up to a full moon. So if you haven't set your intention yet, time to set it. And Today we begin, as I said, the Red Serpent. So Red Serpent is the third 52 day process. And if you watch my earlier video that I made, I covered this quite in depth about the red, the white, and now we're in the blue. So Red Serpent is the fifth Mayan sign, and it's the asteroid belt. So again, the asteroid belt is just so amazing to put the asteroids in your chart and see what they bring up about new learning. So a lot of this information is currently being discovered and written about. There isn't a huge amount about lots of asteroids. There are literally thousands of them. I've been learning over the past year about how they can pinpoint things. So I've been working with people without knowing any of their storyline and intuitively choosing asteroids and then just speaking to them about the asteroid placements and then them being able to say, wow, yeah, you're totally describing my childhood or you're totally describing what's going on for me at the moment in my health. So these are the ways that cosmic codes can be amazing. And the asteroid belt is in between Mars and Jupiter as well. So there is a whole myth about that uh, story, uh, creation and destruction story. So again, Google that, check that out because that's really, really interesting. 
So today we begin, and so with Red Serpents, we're building on the first four Mayan signs and we're going into the overtone, the mastery of Kundalini, the serpent's energy. I was having some serpent dreams this morning and I find that happens quite often. So today is not a portal day, as you can see, but tomorrow we go into 10. And I've been doing some more research on a deeper level. So again, working intuitively, this is the key with this. There's so much to this, there's so many aspects of it. And I find that when it's the right time for me, I start to look at it. And then sometimes it may take several years before I actually get into the nitty gritty of how to use it on a practical level. Because remember, this is a synchronizer, and I've been doing it for 10 years. I'm in my 11th year now. And so all this energy starts to build. And with any of these practices, it is about going around the block, going around the 260-day cycle, and becoming an expert on yourself and your patterns. And what these represent is the Akashic story. So in terms of what I'm focusing on at the moment with myself, primarily, because that's where we have to focus, and also um, with my clients, is that we're looking at very, very specific coding. And where this comes into play, again, I'm going to try and describe some of this. Um, this is a book that you need if you want to look at this for yourself. And so very specifically, it goes into depth about magic squares, for example. And so how to calculate all the different permutations of how this amazing calendar works and in the last video as well I showed how you know if you were to open it up and map it over the planet this would be the equator so lots of people have their own unique perspective on how they work with this because that's how it's meant to be used we all have our own gift we all have our own reason be using it and each one of the lines is also linked to development in terms of our human evolution development so very specific years on the planet and I think again I don't know if you can see that but that as close as I can so you can see how it shows different times on planet Earth of human evolution and what was going on at that time. And how this energy again is just building and building until eventually you start to get to things speeding up, which is what they're doing now. And the whole gist of this now is really, we're learning how we are conscious dreamers rather than unconscious dreamers. So we're starting to wake up, awaken. And again, whenever we begin the red cycle in the 52 days, we're awakening to something. So with red serpents, it is awakening to relationship, how our relationships form our beliefs about ourselves, you know, as a child. And so again, if you apply the micro to the macro, we're all evolving very quickly now with all the events that are happening on the planet. Some people are starting to see the world very differently. They're starting to mature. That's what the whole 
thing is about. And so again, if you see how a child matures in many ways, but of course that's, that's very much a subjective process based on the individual. So some children develop into mature, responsible adults and some people never grow up and they still stay stuck in habits that are not good for human beings in terms of what they consume and how they relate to others and they don't have very much emotional intelligence for example which causes a lot of stress for them and everyone else so what we're really starting to see now is where people are on their holograph where people are on their life path and for those that are ready to do this work, it is a very amazing time. Now, this picture that I'm gonna show you, again, shows the I Ching. Now, I don't know um, a lot about the I Ching, um, but it shows how this fits into this particular aspect that is so powerful right now and really coming into its own at this time. And this is, again, what this really teaches us is that time isn't linear, you know, it's a spiral and everything's cyclical, including our own path, our own journey and our own life. And the more that we start to really get into the groove of that, we start to trust the process that instead of trying to push something with your will all the time, with your head, with your intellect, the more that you surrender to the divine and to spirit, the universe, whatever your name is for it, the more you start to heal, the more you trust the process and you know that whatever is going on on the planet, you let go of resistance to what is, because if you don't, then it just causes a lot of suffering for the individual trying to impose their will on divine will. Everything does have a season, has a reason, has a time. And since beginning this journey with the Zolkin, which means putting it in the right order, actually, uh, Zolk, in. It's a different way of looking at it as well. And I did some research on the grammar around this. And again, I suggest that whenever you're doing any research, you start to look at how the syntax works and the grammar. And um, it can give you a whole different re uh, reason or interpretation from what's in the regular history books or remember that people who are often in a field their whole life can be extremely good um, informed and experts if you like in that they can also be limited as well they can be also blindsided which is why it's great to get people who generally don't work in that field, so come in with a different insight and a different perspective because they can often see unique things because of their different patterns. And this is why it's wonderful to get people to come together from all different backgrounds to co-create together and see what magic they come up with. So at this time, what came up for me was how to work with that inner circle and so to show you so the next stage is this pattern here and so this is what i'm really going to talk about today and for those that are ready to work at this level The more that we start to really work on our own personal coding with this, the more that we can go deeper and deeper and in, into understanding exactly what it is that we're here to rewire in us 
and share that information. Okay, so if you see, that's the number 13. And what that says is field 13, genetic energy, 64 units. Now it also goes on, um, yeah, before I put it down, it's, it talks about lots of other different areas of the Zorkin as well, okay? So they've all got their own unique code. And um, I'm not going to focus on those at the moment because this is the area, and this is the difference that makes a difference, is understanding, trusting your intuition to follow that cosmic cookie trail wherever it goes and find the answers because we're all connected to the universe. We all embody the universe and this is what's so exciting about it. So even though it's so challenging right now on so many levels for the ego because you know, where the, the scary stuff that's going on out there. There's also the magic going on at the same time. And the more we start to really focus on making that shift on an internal level, by understanding all of this, you know, being our own Indiana Jones, then that's, we remember what we're here for. And it, how we relate to ourselves is the key. So. Once you start to heal all those things that you've been told that you are, that you've never really felt that you are, you know, maybe you've always felt like you're an alien, the black sheep, uh, you're different to everybody else, you like different things, etc. Once you really follow that and heal anything where, you know, you feel like you've got low self-esteem, low self-confidence, uh, maybe people have said to you, you're intense, because uh, you don't do the standard chit chats. Um, it's because you're different and it's a good thing, okay? It's, it's fine that other people do chit chat and everything as well. It's all good, you know, we all do whatever we do. But the difference that makes a difference is those people who are here at this time on a mission to uncover the magic of who they really are they are the ones that are really going deeper now and using healing modalities to set themselves free. So for example, how I've been working with this since last year, around this time, the fifth, actually, yeah, <laughs> coincidentally, not, I honestly hadn't thought of it, but yes, this is when it started last year, the 260 day cycle, wow. Um, so then it just came to me, 52 day cycles. So how this works in terms of the two, 260 is a 26,000 year cycle, procession of the equinoxes that Earth goes through, through the galaxy. And again, if you don't know about that, there's some great videos and things out there that show how the Earth travels around the galactic sun. And so, so this is a fractal of that at 260. And then we've got 5,200 year cycles and the 2012, which everybody was talking about the end of the world, was the end of a 5,200 year cycle at the winter solstice. And that was blue crystal hand on that year, shaping our destiny. So, We've begun a new one since then. And so now we're going in a different direction. And it's, it is really exciting because it is seeing this shift in, which absolutely has to happen in order for something new to begin. So where this actually begins is, so tomorrow we've got White Lunar World Bridger, which is Mars ending of old worlds and what's significant about that is that old worlds have to die so that new ones can begin so it is a portal day tomorrow but the 64 bandwidth doesn't actually start till the day after which is blue electric hand now for me this 52 cycle I 
am 56. So I've done my 52 years. And I've, so that's four lots of 13. And so I've mapped all of mine. And anybody who's over the age of 52, you can map all of yours as well. And so this is how I work with women in particular who are 52 plus mapping their code so that they learn how to work, to co-create with the universe. So we've got, this is going on with the universe and we've got our own personal code. So for me today, I'm 18 again, and a red serpent for me is red earth, my 13 year cycle of that. So this is gonna take me from being 18. So every day I've got a code that I can relate to around what I can heal belief about myself, a story about myself, which also when you go deeper is your ancestral story as well. So this is just mind blowing once you really get into it and you start to talk to your relatives um, and find out what they did, when they did it, and you'll see how you are literally repeating that story in some way, slightly different slightly different dynamic, but often mind-blowingly similar. And I do it with my children as well, and it's, it is just totally wow. So, what, you know, once you get into working in this way, your faith grows, and even at the most challenging of times, that time passes quicker, you surrender quicker, you come into your center quicker especially if you're doing emotional freedom technique to do this clearing. Okay, so just to give you a personal example, so 18, 19, so when this 64 DNA strand genetic change starts is Tuesday, Wednesday, so this is on Thursday, and this is blue electric hand. So for me, it's when I was 20 years old. And I know but that's when I went on my travels to Greece and that changed my life. There were some things there though that were really challenging for me on a personal level and some um, habits, patterns that uh, were very codependent. So around alcohol, you know, um, the usual what we call the usual teenage things in our society and that people sort of accept as normal often and oh everybody does that and you know that's how it is in our culture without actually questioning it because if you want to be on a spiritual quest and you want to be raising your energy and getting clear and really resonating on a higher level you cannot do any of those practices because they just don't go together. And it's as simple as that. So a lot of the time, as young people especially, we set up patterns that create poison and toxicity in our bodies. And, you know, if you think about hangovers, et cetera, it's just so obvious, really. But again, there's some sort of belief that we have to suffer for pleasure. You know, and it's, again, going deep into those patterns. So I am going to be mapping my patterns. I'm really focusing over the next 24 hours on what I need to be rewiring for myself. And the key is as well, so this only runs down to Blue Eagle. Okay. And that's, again, is very significant. So each one of these codes, again, you can map other people in your family and you can see if they show up in any of these as well. You can map friends, work, colleagues, whoever has shown up in your life to understand the blessings that they bring. And it is always a blessing, you know, how ever challenging it's been some of the most challenging times are where we get our greatest teaching and breakthrough. And that's not a cop out for people who 
behave abusively. It's just true, you know, it's true that um, what's happening now is giving us some of our greatest teaching about humanity, especially about narcissism, so that we can really understand how some human beings do not have any empathy or compassion for others because of their personal story and to be very mindful of that and aware of that now. It's a crucial teaching. So each one of these, as we go through, so we, we go down and we're going to, it'll be white mirror next. So we'll be able to see the holograph that's coming up. And then we'll be going into blue monkey. So we'll be going right into uh, shoot that right into the heart of the matter and so the corresponding because every 20 days you get the next wave and I spoke about this again in in the video yesterday so for example for me blue electric hand and when I was 20 and then if I look up this is white mirror number 10. Now let's see if I can do this at the top, off the top of my head. So that would be white wind for me. That would be my Uranus opposition at 41. So there'll be a similar theme going on here. So what happened for me at 2021, 41. And then coming out the other side, we will have yellow seed. And this is going to be a very key date for Pluto in Capricorn in the USA. On coming out of that is number four yellow seed, which is when I was eight years old. Again, another big eventful time for me and where I lived at that time and what that meant for me and a previous family pattern so that has given me so much food for thought just talking through that with you um and yeah it's just mind-blowing stuff so the more you become self-aware but you know this is the most important thing a lot of people just spend time on understanding how magic squares work and you know how to um, meditate, um, various philosophical, I can't get the word out, about Buddhism, uh, you know, different schools of thought. All of that is great, you know, that learning, but the most learning and the most shift that you're going to get to empower yourself to heal and move forward is understanding your patterns and your own personal codes. When you understand your astrology, it takes you to a whole different level. And this is limitless stuff. When you start to work with this every day, intuitively, and you just start moving that blue tack and you start to tune in, what do I need to know about the Mayan calendar? Yes, I can teach people about how this works, but it's not the same as you learning it yourself by following the Cosmic Cookie Trail, which is a unique journey for you. Often people are impatient and they want to learn the old way, you know, get a book, read it, uh, know, you know, have an A-level in French or whatever. But you know, having a, an A-level in French that you've learned online is not the same as going to the country and speaking it, you know, and seeing where it comes from, seeing, what drives people, et cetera. Um, it's a whole different experience, isn't it? Like I found in Greece, I, um, I could understand a lot more from the body language uh, than the actual language a lot of the time. And one thing that I really loved about that as well was I could truly be in a space where lots of people were talking and because I couldn't understand the language, it was an amazing different experience because I wasn't drawn into their conversations. They were them having their chats and I was 
just being by myself, having my own thoughts. So over the next 13 days, you're going to be building on the previous two castles of Red Dragon, awakening to what the Great Mother is bringing us for our conscious evolution. Red Skywalker, how good are you now at creating heaven on earth for yourself? Are you making those changes? Are you crafting your vision of Eden? What is your day-to-day -day experience? Where our energy flows in our body, our Kundalini, when our heart's on fire, when we're feeling good, on purpose, doing what we're meant to do, it's really, really magical. We stay in our center, we truly become the observer and we can be in the eye of the storm more and more. And the deeper that you go, the more you discover about what takes you out. And many people are getting taken out of their center right now because of the depth of where we're going, where we're journeying at the moment. So if you have any questions about the Red Serpent, the 64 digit process that's happening now, please do get in touch with me. And if you want to know your codes, if you want to know techniques for working with this energy, I know that my subscriptions are growing. I don't have a huge audience right now. Most people who are watching this are actively working on themselves, actively engaged in the Zolkin as well and understand what an amazing tool it is and how it was created for this time. So my website is flowwithjoe.com and I look forward to hearing from you if you'd like more info. This wave spell is going to take us into Capricorn. It's going to take us through the Christmas period. And again, depending on where you are in the world, you may be having your friends or relatives around or not. And they will also be showing you key information at this time. Because remember, this is about relationship. It's how we relate and how we've learned to relate, usually because of our relations. So time for discipline and working out what it is that we need to heal now so that we can become clear. Lots of love. Bye for now.